So let's go take a look at the market this morning. Um, so this is this morning's action. Uh, we've had uh, a couple setups so far this morning. We've been in a downtrend. We just came off of a MOMO uh, for you early morning traders. Here's a momentum trade. We broke the demand line at uh, 33 and three quarters. We were below uh, 20 on our oscillator and the arrow fired. So this is an extreme MOMO. So that is an extreme MOMO short. So that is a MOMO short because we are below 20. You just got to stay below 80 when the arrow fired. Now this is what the update will do. The update will fire these arrows automatically for you. So if we take a look at, uh, um, we're setting up for another possible trade. This is our main chart to trade off of. Um, if you look at yesterday's price action, and I want to go over what you guys are going to be getting here. Yesterday's price action, let's take a look at the whole session pretty much. So if we look at the session uh, all the way to the morning, we broke uh, the demand line uh, earlier, retested it, and look at the, at, we went from an FZR at around 954, that was a full retracement above 80, into a MOMO right below 80 when the arrow fired, into an FZR above 80, right at the zone, FZR, FZR, into MOMO below 80, FZR above 80 at the zone, FZR, MOMO, 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 FZR, MOMO. So these trades all fired right in a row, uh, all the way from, let's say, around 9.30, all the way to almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. So you can see that our zone, our red zone, said to short all day. So it was a short bias all day yesterday, um, one trade after another one. Now, this is our main chart to trade off of. Uh, this is our 1-20-20 Unirico. If you trade off of a chart like this, off of a larger time frame, um, this is the S&P uh, Micros. If you trade off a larger time frame, you'll want to uh, uh, have a, uh, since these are 20 Rico bars, you'll want a 25 stop, uh, 25 tick stop, um, because you're trading off the 20 Rico. So a lot of traders like to trade off this larger time frame because of the accuracy of it. So if you do that, just make sure that uh, um, anytime you trade an Uni Renko bar, if it's a 20, you'll want to put a 25 tick stop. If you trade a 13, you'll add five ticks on that, trade off of a stop of 18. If you trade off of a 10, put a 15 tick stop, eight, so on. So um, when you do that, that's the best way to do it. Now what you'll be getting, uh, this is the algo you'll be getting, you can see it corresponds with all the trades that happened yesterday. So wherever the arrow fires on your indicator, the algorithm, you can take that trade. Now this is a strictly a 20 tick target on four contracts, uh, 20 tick target on four contracts. Uh, so you can, it started to, let's see, let's see, blow it up here a little bit. So this is a 20 tick, this is, the running live since uh, right here at noon. So you can, you can adjust your target, your profit targets, your trail, all that stuff. But um, your stop, you can push your stop in. I put the stop in at 25 ticks on the algo yesterday. And see, it uh, got stopped out on this swing. But these were, um, these were all the trades that corresponded to the indicator, so you can see it matches up. Wherever the indicator fires the arrows, you have the ability to put the chart up. This is a 120-20, same exact chart. It's going to fire exactly where these arrows fire. So wherever your indicator fires, uh, the algorithm will fire, the algo will fire the exact same setups. All right, so if you let it run, um, from yesterday, you can see here in the morning it got chopped up a little bit, and then it just got the it got this last zone short. From yesterday, if I just run it real time, not historical, but just since noon yesterday, these are the micros. You hit real time, so it's been batting almost eighty percent 
on the trades, on the micros, uh, just on a 20 tick first target, uh, 20 tick first target, and uh, 25 tick stop loss, around almost 80% on the trades. Uh, it's been running live since then, since yesterday. So you can, um, you don't have to trade this thing around the clock. You can set your hours. A lot of traders like to trade between the New York, uh, you know, the New York to around 11 o'clock, 9.30 to 11 o'clock is a majority of traders that like to trade the system. Um, I always say 7.30 to 10.30 um, is what I like to do. And then come back from uh, 1.30 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The dead spot is usually 11.30 Eastern Standard Time to 1.30. That's usually the dead spot where you get a lot of momentum that dissipates. So that's a really good uh, sweet spot time. The most action is 9.30 to 11 o'clock, uh, 9.30 to even 11.30. I mean, that's a really hot spot in the market where a lot of volume comes in. But I like uh, 7.30 to 10.30 is my preference. Uh, but just watch out from 11.30 to 1.30. Uh, you, you tend to get some sideways movement on most days. But you can see how it corresponds. Uh, you know, it, it corresponds with, yesterday was just an animal. I mean, it was just on fire yesterday, <clears throat> throwing trades out. <clears throat> but you don't have to, you can adjust your uh, stops accordingly. Uh, you can adjust your targets accordingly. But the point is, it's going to match, it's going to match these FZR and MOMO trades. Uh, it's going to match this level based upon, I mean, these arrows. So whatever you come up with on what time frame you want to trade, you can match the algorithm to that if you want to. Just remember when we're doing this, um, the whole idea behind it is an FDR trade is where we get to the zone. So we're actually getting to the zone. We're touching it or within a couple of ticks. We're getting to the zone in a downtrend because of our, of our red uh, zone. And then it's above 80. So that's called an FDR, a full zone retracement. All right. If when the market, one of the best combos I like is you get an FZR and then you go right into Momo trades because that means the market is really weak and the FZR has been rejected. So these are really good trades because you're getting rejected out of the, out of the uh, zone and we know our zones are, are, are accurate the way it is, but you get moving away from the zone if the, if the market doesn't get above 80 right here, right here, right here, and the arrow fires, that means the market's really weak. And you can see a continuation to the downside. Now, this is an extreme MOMO. The extreme MOMO is when we're below 20, and we just came out of FCR full zone retracement. And that's what happened here this morning. If you look here this morning, we've got uh, on this morning's price action. Let's take a look at it. If we look from midnight and on, we got an extreme MOMO that happened here at 710 this morning. All right, because we, we came out of, we broke the demand line, got a shallow retracement. It was below 20, so that's an extreme MOMO short. All right, so that's what we're looking at as far as up to date. All right, you can use this chart over here as far as a momentum chart so if we all if we turn all six red or all six green that's telling you the market's looking to go vertical in this momentum chart if i see an offset color speed bar that's telling me i'm looking for possible tops possible top possible top possible top so when you get those and it matches up with an fzr on this chart it's really conducive to a great trading plan because you got momentum in the market if you look at yesterday too you look at, we were just, since midnight, just cranking down. There's a top, there's a top, catches rolling in position traders, catches rolling in position traders, opposite color speed bar, opposite color speed bar, opposite color speed bar. These are where all the FCRs and Momos fired, opposite color speed bar. So this really helps you out and guides you as far as when supply demand is coming in. Now we're coming into a possible another sell. Until we break this outer edge, the bias is still down. All right, so we'll look at setups here this morning again on FCR and MOMOs.